Okay, well, today we're talking about a bunch of um, three butcher bayonets. So we just got we've got three different varieties of butcher bayonets here. Um, these are all butcher bayonets, and they're they're designed like they're like a meat cleaver, or they've got a big butcher end on them, and that's why they're called butcher bayonets. These are all World War One era, um, and we're just going to talk about these three. So we'll talk about the first one. This is a plain butcher bayonet. It's made by Erfurt. And um, also another maker mark on the on the side there, which is uh, maker mark there. It's in good condition. Um, the blade is really nice. This is just a plain butcher bayonet, but it works as it should be. That comes with a uh, uh, scabbard and a frog, and that's the frog from it. And I I don't um, separate anything or change anything when I get these bayonets. Um, these two here have been in a collection for forty years. Um, and so they've never been um, seen before or been dealt with or sold before this this here we've got um, this one's another type of the butcher bayonets this is a sawback bayonet um, we've got it's got a serrated edge on it obviously for cutting um, well they're called a sawback for a reason because they used to um, cut wood uh, these these in um, 1917 um, the British didn't like them and uh, as a result anyone caught with a sawback bayonet got killed on the spot so what the germans did in 1917 as i've had a few of these bayonets they used to take it to the armorer and he would take all the saws off like that and then that way that would save the german guy's life um, that was part of them both of these are dated uh, 1915 and as you can see on the scabbards you know they've been in there all their life because it's a little it's not square at the top um, obviously for putting in the Fall back and scraping and pulling in and out of the scrabbit. So the top of the throat has got a bit of wear on it, which is expected with a saw back bayonet. It's also got a little German stamping on there, if I can see it properly. And um, this one, as you can tell, um, there's no no wear on the top of it. It's nice and square on the top. So you know that this has come off this uh, bayonet here. And the last one we're going to talk about is something a little bit different. Um, this is a this is a butcher bayonet as well, but it's a lot fatter blade than this one here. So what they've done, um, probably during World War One, I, I would say, I sort of had the feeling that this was um, used by a blacksmith, and the blacksmith has beaten this this butcher bayonet and beaten the hell out of it, to be honest. And um, but he's done a really good job. He's really thinned it out, so it's a lot thinner than what one is. Uh, it's got a few nicks and knocks and everything, but this this butcher bayonet. Um, has been used for killing animals, I believe, or used in the kitchen, or, you know, because they used to kill a lot of deers and goats, and um, even bears, there was a few bears around there as well, so that used to feed the army, I believe this was done in the field in World War I, um, so that's just something a little bit different, and the it, it works as, as it should, but if it went on the end of a rifle, it would probably blow the end of a you know blow the end of it so this was just used in the galley or by the kitchen guys or the cooks to um kill their beasts or people going out in the field to do it but um that's just a quick little video about um butcher bayonets we're going to put the saw back on um trade me today and we're going to list that as a dollar for edge weapon of the week so i hope you um enjoy this enjoy this bayonet it's a really nice bayonet it looks big beefy in the hand and they're starting to get hard to get but as I said, it's 1915 dated. It's never been on the open market for over 40 years, I believe, anyway. So I um, hope you get it. Thank you.